In this lesson, we are going to define our six trig functions. So in a prior math class, in a geometry class, you might have been uh, exposed to uh, a little bit of trigonometry um, where they introduced sine, cosine, and tangent. You might have used the word Sokotoa to help you remember that sine is opposite, sine of an angle is opposite divided by hypotenuse. Cosine of an angle is adjacent divided by hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite divided by adjacent. So here's kind of our picture. So if this is your angle, this is the opposite side, this is the adjacent side next to the angle, and hypotenuse is across from the 90. So in trig, we're going to do the same thing. Um, there's six of them because each of these has a reciprocal. So we're going to build ours off of a circle. All right, and so we're just going to plot a random point on this circle. And that circle has a radius of, we don't know. Um, so then from here, we're going to figure out how do we create sine, cosine, and tangent from this. Well, we can drop down a perpendicular, make a right triangle out of it. And then now we have a right triangle. This is our angle that we're focused on. And we need a horizontal length and a vertical length. Well, those are actually just the X's and the Y's. So X is your horizontal y is your vertical, and we can define exactly like we would have done in a geometry class. We can create our sine, cosine, and tangent, but now it's onto an x and a y. It's more of an algebraic-ish kind of look to it. So sine of our angle is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, so y over r. Cosine of our angle is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, x over r, and then tangent is going to be uh, opposite over adjacent. So those are three of our six. So then each of these has a reciprocal. Sine's reciprocal is known as cosecant, which is abbreviated like that, and it's just the reciprocal. So it's r over y, and cosine has a reciprocal of secant, and it is r over x, and then tangent has a reciprocal called cotangent, which is x over r. <clears throat> and just a little side note um, from a prior class, potentially like a college algebra class, or a beginning of a pre-calc class, there's an equation for this, um, and the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. If your circle is centered at 0, 0, that is your equation. Um, uh, eventually, we're going to make this into a unit circle. A unit circle is going to make your uh, radius locked at 1. So then it kind of changes your denominators into 1s, changes your numerators into 1s. Ooh, my cotangent is x over y. Um, and then this equation is going to be locked at a 1 here as well. So these are your six trig functions defined.